Look at your palms. Do you have the magic M, X, or V? Find out what that means for you. But first, if you like my videos, please like and subscribe and share with all your friends. It means a lot to me. I'm Trina from www.themoontree.org, helping you navigate life's energies. So, let's look at our palms. Look at your left, which is what you were born with, and then look at your right, which is what you've done with it. Reverse that if you're left-handed. Okay, so let's look at the magic M. So the magic M starts like this. Do you have lines that make an M on your left and right hand? So actually on my own hand, on here's my left hand that I was born with, and I do have the magic M as we can see here. Now let's look at my right hand. So here's my right hand, and I do have the magic M also in my right hand, but there's a little break in the middle. As we can see, there's a break on the fate line right there. The M itself means that I have the potential to make lots of money and be somebody in the world, so to speak. But because of that break in the fate line, that could mean for me personally, something to do with my destiny or taking control of my destiny should be more prominent in my life. I should maybe take hold of the destiny a little more, make it happen. I might need a little more hard work. So if it was your heart line, which is the very top, let's say you had a break in your heart line, the very top here, closest to your fingers, that would mean that something with your emotional way that you respond to stimulus, for example, might be unbalanced. Maybe you're overly sentimental. Maybe you're holding on to emotions too much in order to let the magic M really infiltrate your life. Now, if the break is in the headline, which is in the middle, that middle part of the M right there, you see how my skin's bending right there on that headline? If there was a break there, it could be your mental process. So maybe like in astrology, your mercury would be afflicted some way. And that's what you need to work on is how you process it mentally. Maybe you're not seeing the big picture of things. Maybe you're, uh, or the other way, you're seeing too many of the details of things and need to lighten up to a more observational kind of way. And for me, my break was in the fate line, meaning I need to control my destiny better. I need to be more in control of you know, what happens to me and maybe being less passive or lazy. Maybe I need to do more hard work, for example, of the fate line having that break. Okay, so let's look at the next thing. So here's what we call the magic X right in the middle of your hand between the heart line on top and the head line on the bottom. So here you can see that X on my left hand as well as on my right hand too. And that little X means you are a mystic or an intuitive person. You could be a spiritual medium, a tarot card reader, an astrologer, or some kind of spiritual guru, for example, spiritual teacher. You might even be able to make a business or a side gig out of your special gift. And finally, we look at the top line, which is the heart line. Does it end in a V? A trident is okay too. In fact, a trident is even a little bit more amplified, a little bit more better. So what does this V at the tip of your heart line mean? If you have that V at the end, it's going towards Saturn and it's going towards Jupiter, meaning that you are emotionally stable and you are able to use your intuition and your em empathy in your job and in your responsibilities of the day-to-day -day life. And you can gain great material wealth and resources and money if you use this V, so to speak, to your advantage. And if you have that trident, which is like a three-pronged fork from Neptune in the ocean, you know, the trident, that is super special. That has an extra flair for being empathic and responsible with your emotions. 
and can use that in a way to gain wealth and to gain, uh, you know, the 3D world material abundance if you so choose, if that's what you want. All right, so thank you for watching. And don't forget to check out your monthly forecast videos. Right now, you have July up, July 2021, as well as weekly forecast videos too. See you next time.